Preview. Preview. There's some developments taking place right now, especially uh, a, a situation developing between Turkey and Greece, where literally Turkey um, threatened to attack Greece over a few disputed islands that have been disputed for a long time. I mean, the, the, empire, the Grecian Empire, at one time, the Grecian Empire controlled all of Turkey. There's Erdogan. He's the one that made this threat. Matter of fact, even in Greece moved their capital from Athens to Constantinople and then later moved it back to Athens and then Constantinople became Istanbul. There he is, Erdogan. He's the guy that made this declaration. This guy's getting involved in everything. These guys are supposed, they're, they're supposed to be working together since they border each other. But Turkey's leader of the Republican People's Party has threatened to invade 18 Greek islands in the Aegean Sea. If he comes to power, that could trigger World War III as President Erdogan continue his aggressive rhetoric after imposing his forces in Syria. So he's causing trouble in Syria, and now he wants to take these 18 islands away from Greece. What? Um, are you serious? Uh, he, they've declared that if he wins the country's election, he's saying, he told the Turkish people, Go to the polls, he said next year. He will wage war against Greece if he wins. What? And take over the islands after declaring Athens has no document to, of ownership over them. So he's saying that, Greece, you don't have any documentation that you own those islands. There's no paperwork nowhere. Uh, they're ours. And if I am reelected, I'm taking them from Greece. What are you talking about, Erdogan? Well, these are gorgeous islands. These are worth <laughs> billions of dollars in property and tourism. That's insanity. So he stated that he would invade and take over these islands, 18 Greek islands. And he said the former Turkish prime minister invaded Cyprus back in 1974. Meanwhile, the inflammatory comments were supported by the head of the newly formed Good Party. Really? You sure they're not the bad party? Um, and they also make a bid to run Turkey and hinted that they could wage war against Greece also. Um, uh, they're saying that what is required must be done was posted by the party leader on Twitter. The statements come at a time when the President Erdogan finds himself emboldened after the deducting of a military operation in the northern region of the neighboring Syria in Afrin. All right, and Brock, you know that in Afrin, he went in there, he was trying to take all the, he was trying to take all the land from the Kurds. Now he wants to take 18 islands from Greece. Somebody, no, don't slap grandma, but don't, somebody should slap Erdogan or, or, or get a hold of him or do something, wake him up. You can't go around doing that. What's he doing? Um, anyway, this is the deal, guys. Uh, he said, we just, th there's a dispute here, and, and uh, he calls it Operation Euphrates. He was going to force the uh, Kurds, push them all the way past the Euphrates River and take what's called Kurdistan because of the oil, because of the oil. This guy thinks he can just take what he wants because he thinks he can do it. Now, they are a nuclear player, and Greece couldn't, there's no way Greece could stand up to them. And Greece, though, is part of the European Union. So if Turkey invades Greece to take the islands, does Angela Merkel, does she help? Does the European Union step in and say, what are you doing? Hold it a minute. Or is Turkey getting ready? And, you know, Walid Shubat told me four years ago, Keep an eye on this guy. He is going to be the Antichrist. Or at least in Walid Shubat's mind, he's the leading candidate to be the Antichrist. Well, we're going to wait and see what he does here. But certainly, uh, uh, President Trump and Erdogan don't get along. That's not going to work. 
And uh, we're going to see what happens. Now, don't forget who the leader is. The prime minister of Greece is a man by the name of Alexis Tsipras. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know. Now, what's he going to do? And is this going to happen? We're going to have to watch closely and see what takes place there.